Okay, guys, so we're going to do writing in point slope form, right? It's a little bit different than slope intercept form. So let's, uh, let's just kind of contrast the two real quick. Remember that slope intercept form has a nice, right? So it, it's got that ring to it. It says, you know what? It's going to have both the slope and the intercept very much present in the actual equation, right? So we're going to go whoa, we're going to go y equals mx plus b. And again, what we'll be showing if you do that, the m, which is the slope, and the b, which is the intercept. Slope-intercept form. You get in that, you see the slope, you see the intercept. Easy and great for graphing. Let's check this next form. It's called point slope form. So what's unique about this one is it has the point showing and the slope showing, right? So it's got those two pieces. So here's what the equation looks like. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. And we just leave it like that. That is the form. Now we can take that and convert it to slope intercept, but we can just leave it like that as well. So what are the things that, that I need? I am going to need a point because I'm going to need to know the x value of the point and the y value of the point, and I'm going to need to know the slope so that I can have that right there. So um, what you're going to notice here is this y and this x always stay as y and x in the equation, very much like it did up here in the slope intercept, that y and that x always hung around. So you're always going to see the y and the x just hanging out there, okay? So knowing the point slope form, this is all you got to do, man. Memorize this or write it down on a note sheet, right? Because we're going to be able to use a note sheet. And then let's utilize it. Okay, let's do this. Um, so let's go right here. Write the point slope form of the equation of the line through the given point of the slope. All right, so here is what they're giving us. So I'm going to think, okay, I got y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, so I need to fill in those different pieces, the pieces that are in color there. Okay, guess what is up here? We got, there's x1 and there's y1. They only given us one point. So I'm going to use that x1, y1, and they're giving us the slope here. Okay, so let's fill in the value. So here we go, y minus the y value equals slope. Remember, slope is always the m value. Negative three-fifths x minus the x value. Guess what? We done. That's all it takes right there, right there. So just plugging in the values and making it work for us, right? So, so nice, so simple. All right, give it a shot. See what you do. Put pause, try it, come back. Here's what you got, all right? Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1, right? Always just kind of thinking about what that is. Y minus negative two equals negative two fifths times X minus five. Clean it up y plus two, or this little thing right here, minus a negative is a plus, equals negative two fifths x minus five. Leave it, that is point slope form. Again, we could go a step further and we could distribute this number across here and then we could subtract two from both sides and we can get this in the slope intercept form. For now, just leave it in point slope form, okay? Let's go. Let's uh, let let's let's step this up a little. Whoa. Okay, that is stepped up a little bit. All right. Right in point slope form of this. Guess what? They don't give us the slope, and they give us two points. No big deal. But what we have to do first is find the slope. Okay. M equals y two minus y one over x two minus x one. Remember, I'm going to call this x one. This is going to be y one. We're going to call this x two. We're going to call this y two. Okay. So right, keeping things in order. So let's start by putting numbers in. So we're going to go y2 minus y1, which is 4 minus 1, over x2 minus x1, which is negative 2 minus 0. All right, clean it up. If we clean that up a little bit, we get 3 over negative 2 minus 0, so negative 2. So again, whenever we get slow, we can put that negative on the bottom, on the top, or outside. It does not matter. I like to clean it up by putting it on the outside, negative three halves, so like that. That's my slope. 
Okay, thinking about y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Well, what value do we actually want to use? Actually, this is, this is the, the cool thing about um, point slope. For my x and my y, I could use x1 and y1, or I could use x2 and y2 in those places. It doesn't matter which one you use, and they are both correct because when you go to distribute and you go to reconvert it to a slope intercept, it is the exact same. It works out. It's, it's pretty cool to do, right? So I'm gonna show you the two possible answers you can get on this. One of those is, um, is y minus one equals negative three halves x minus zero. There's one answer. Or the other answer you could get is where you can go y minus four equals negative three halves x minus negative two, so minus negative, I'm just gonna call it a plus. This works as well. If you don't believe me, convert this and this to y equals mx plus b, and you are gonna find out they are exactly the same, right? So um, it, it, it's really cool that way that you get to use either point that you want, but this is correct and this is correct. So both of them are correct. So you got that. All right, here you go. Do one on your own. Ready, go. And then I'm going to do it. And let's see if we get the same. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this is really a plus plus. So we're going to call that 5 over negative 1. So I'm going to call this a negative 5 as my slope. All right, let's get to it. y minus, I'm going to use the first point for the first one. y minus negative 2 equals negative 5 x minus x1. All right, I'm just going to give a little conversion, clean this up. y plus 2 equals negative 5 x minus 1. And there is one possible answer. Maybe you choose to use this point. Well, let's see what it looks like with that point. y minus 3 equals negative 5 x minus 0. Clean it up. y minus 3. Oops, let's try it. y minus 3 equals negative 5 times x. There you go. Either of those two work, that or that, right? When they give you multiple points, you get multiple options, right? Pretty cool to do that. All right, so there you go on that one. All right, let's do this on point slope form of the equation line described. Okay, so they give me a point, right? Okay, so they want me to go through this point, negative five, two. Whoa, but check this. Be parallel to this. Okay, geometry term, parallel. What does parallel mean? If we do a real quick recap, remember parallel means if I draw a line and then I draw another line, they never cross, ever, 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 right? Parallel, like train tracks, never cross. So what is true about them? They have the exact same slope. Oh, exact same slope. So wait a second, what you're telling me to find slope, all I gotta do is steal it from this guy right here. Remember that number that's sitting, it's already in slope intercept form, so I'm gonna steal its slope and put it right here, negative one. Okay, so now I got a point and I got a slope. I don't. Know, I can care less about what, what it's parallel to anymore. All right, let's put it together. Y minus Y1 equals negative one, that's slope, X minus a negative five, so it's gonna end up being a plus five done so you got to do a little thievery on that parallel lines and you can get to yours like that okay let's try it again oh man this one is the same type of equation though all right here we go again let's do it so i'm gonna go m equals i have to steal the slope put it right here negative one because it says it's parallel parallel lines have the exact same slope so there it is now we're given a point and a slope Put it together, y minus y1, that's a negative two, so y minus a negative is gonna be a positive, equals negative one x minus x1, which happens to be just one. Done, leave it in point slope form. There you go, it's actually a pretty simple form once you have a point and a slope. If you don't have a slope, gotta go find it. If you don't have a slope and you can't find it, steal it from the parallel line, right? Um, so that's what you're gonna be doing. Make sure 
that we have these two things right so far, these are what we've covered. Slope intercept form and point slope form. Know the two difference, I put them on the same sheet so that when we get to our note time, boom, there they are and ready to go for you. All right, um, let's do that and we'll do some uh, in class.